Welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to give a shout out to Crafters Market again, inspired by creativity. I've got one of their shirts on again today. It's my Rick Sanchez shirt from uh, Rick and Morty. Thumbs up to them. Thank you for bringing us all the inspiration that we need. I'm just going to put this to the one side. And uh, guys, I'm going to continue with the bolt. What I'm going to do is because I see the other videos has taken a bit of time so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically take all my parts out that I need for this next segment of the boat I'm just gonna lay them all out here and uh, hopefully that will go quicker than the last video that I just uploaded so yeah like I said there's a couple of of things that needs to be done but I like to continue and thanks again for you guys for bringing us this model and uh, I'll catch you after I've got all my parts that we need. Come back. Um, what we need to do is out of our second parts list is we need to remove parts number 22. There is actually it's like this. There's four of them. Just put that to the one side. And then we need the elastic bands as well. Now there's two sizes, there's the thicker one that I've got here and then there's the smaller one inside the packet. I'm not going to be able to show you on this but we need the thicker of the two and this is basically the drivetrain that's going to sit in the engine block, I think it is. So it's basically, you can see mine is all wrinkled up and uh, it's not 100% perfect, but that's basically the end result that we're looking for. Over there, over there, flipped over. And then this is going to sit inside, so that's why I, say, I don't think it's going to make a difference. It's going to sit inside like that, and that's going to drive the motor itself. So let me show you quickly. It is quite a mess actually to get this done. But uh, you basically just uh, flip it in. And I've had a lot of help from Mr. Sanchez here on my shirt. So you see they basically just go in. Sits inside there. The difficult part is when you uh, need to put the second driver band around. So basically that's the one complete there. We then take it to approximately the middle, that side. We flip it over. And we go in the opposite direction in between the slots as indicated. So that flips in quite easily. See mine is a bit off center now. But uh, we can quickly fix that. We just pull on the one side of it. And there we have an approximate center to center. So from here on. We just get our other part and uh, we do the same. You, you just need to check that uh, those line up, those rectangles in the middle. And then we just do a mirror or we just copy a mirror image of what we just done to the other side. Like I say, it does flip in quite easily. The first one took me a bit of time to figure out where it needs to go. But it is quite an easy fit. You'll see it's a bit off center and it's a bit skew, so we can just pull it through. So that it sits more straight and in line with the other one. There's still one of them that's a bit off. And like I say, it doesn't really matter if you've got it like that now, because uh, it is going to be stretchable. So you can actually stretch it when you have it in the model. So basically that's the one rubber band around. Then what they want us to do on the other side, where we don't have a gap, is a rubber band going to sit basically in there and there. And like I say, this is where the difficult part came in, came in, because now you need to 
get it into the hole plus you need to get it over another elastic band that's already filling that gap and uh, it does go in quite easily if you uh, know what you're doing and uh, like I say after my third or fourth attempt on the first one it actually came all together quite nicely um, it's not a difficult thing to do it's just a bit tricky to get it in lined up like you want it to see like that one isn't lined up so what I normally do is I just leave a little bit of space this side and then I go in and Mr. Rick Sanchez will help me again here because he is the most clever guy in the universe so there we have that one and you can see the shape that it's forming at this stage so we've got two there and then the other one comes in that way and then basically you just carry on so just make sure that you line up your rectangle again with the other one and uh, then we can continue with the rest of them ok so I've got that one nearly in like I say the thing is the space there in between is so little now with the two rubber bands but uh, you do get them in quite easily And then that one, just want to make sure that I've got it the correct way now. And then this one wants to go basically in the opposite direction. Come now. I actually saw on Yu Gi Oh's Facebook channel that there is a, a time-lapse video that the one guy uploaded um, he actually made it look very easy uh, which I can assure you it is it is not that easy to get all the parts fitted but uh, then again if it is supposed to be easy then no one would enjoy these models I'm just checking if I've got, oh yeah, I've got the correct one here so then that basically needs to clip in this way come on Mr. Rick help me here good to have some leverage um, and I don't want to actually push it down on the, the wooden surface that I've got here because then I might end up breaking it and like I said there is spare parts but I don't necessarily want to use them if I don't have to ok so there we can actually see it going in now Come on, dude. Just came out again. Okay, so that one is also in now. This one came out again. And now I just need to make sure that I've got this like I'm supposed to have it. Seems like I do. Even after I thought it was the wrong way around, I'm not going to work out. It is actually quite difficult. And I don't want to take up too much time with this, but I do want to show you how to fit it correctly. So basically we've got it in like that now. 
those are the ones overlapping that side and then this one will basically just clip onto that one that side so let's just put it through a bit get some more space to work with and then like I say this one just basically clips or slots into position on this side and then that one will go through there you can actually after you've threaded it through then you can still <laughs> tuck on some of the the rubber bands to get it accurately and to get it into position the way you want it but uh, yeah the difficult part is to get it through so there I've done it, I'll get that sorted out a bit later but uh, it basically looks something like this when uh, you've got it all on like I say, again, I don't think it makes much of a difference I am going to try and line it up quite a bit better but it is stretchy so I think we'll just uh, leave it like that for now and then uh, we need to continue on and then this is basically going to sit, like I said, this is going to sit in the engine compartment like this and it's going to be held together with these and some gears that also goes through them and uh, I'm just going to get that sorted and then uh, I'll be back back um, I've already installed the first one of this, uh, I believe it's going to be the drive train um, there's my one that I completed with you guys on camera so I uh, just want to make sure that my video recording is, is recording alright so what we need to do is they say here we need to I actually want to put it here so you guys can also follow me we need to take out part number 25 which is the longer of the two on this uh, piece okay, so this we can throw away number 29 we can also take off but I'll take it off with you guys on camera so well then what we need to do further is on number 26 which is basically like wheels we need to remove all of them and they actually remove quite easily unlike some of the others that we have removed in the past it's fine if you break that just don't break the, the specific part that you're going to need so they just clip out of that then again we just need to sand them down a bit so that we can get rid of because these are going to be moving parts and we don't want we don't want the model to get stuck I just dropped one of them so I just need to retrieve it from the ground alright so got that one alright so what we need to do is they want us to sand it down we need to take part number 26 Six or 25 and we need we need to stick it from the inside through the opening that's provided so it looks it looks basically like that then from there we take five of number 26 and we ream them onto part number 25 so we've got all five of them on there so it's basically looking like that then they want us to just wax it a bit again like i said this is going to be a moving part so i'm just waxing them off screen so i don't mess on the table in front of me you can just give it a good rubbing with your wax candle that you've got all right so we've got it all waxed up now as you can see i've already completed the other one and that's basically what we are looking for as i said to you earlier it doesn't seem like the bands matter if they stretch or what because we are going to stretch them to our own accord when 
we stick it into the model itself. So basically from here on out, after we've put all five of our part number 26 on there, we stick it from the inside out, or from the, the inside through the hole that's provided, and uh, it basically lines up that like that outside and that's why we put the wax there because of uh, the moving inside uh, the engine block itself so I'm just going to leave this this other part number six we're still going to use so I'll just get back to that after that we need to remove part number 27 which is like a little uh, a gear as well with smaller wheels inside of it so let's just remove this one as good as possible. I don't want to break anything again. Like I said, I, if one of the gears do break, I think the east spare parts, but uh, I'll rather not break anything and just use what they provided. And if something breaks, then at least I know I've got one extra part left. What I'm removing here is part number 28. That's the, basically, that's going to sit inside those grooves there and uh, at the end of the day it needs to look like that basically so we need two of them so i'm just gonna get these out quickly and i i saw with the first ones as well they are quite difficult to remove because there's not a lot of plywood on them or they're very thin so do your best when you remove them to not to not break any of them like I say there is just a limited amount of spare parts that you get with this again I'm just going to sand them down again I don't want the model to get stuck when it's in motion and I think that's why the sanding also comes into play all right guys so what needs to happen from here on out is all of these or those three that we just removed needs to basically slot in there so we've got a free moving part like that so that's basically what we are it's like a, a multi-rotational gear then from there on out it wants us to stick it through and holding it on the inside, lift it up and just slot it over. There's one of them that doesn't want to work with me. Your help will be much appreciated. Guys, again, leave some nice comments in the comment section down below. Go check out U Gears as well. Go check out Crofters Market. And uh, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Follow my channel. Subscribe. Hit that notification. And uh, you'll be notified when the new video pops. So basically, there we have that in place at this stage. So that multi rotational gear is in place. From there on out, we need to flip pages we need to get part number 24 which is quite a biggish gear that uh, actually the first one came out quite easily as does this one and just make sure that you put it in the correct way I actually tried to fit it in the other way and I almost break, broke it and uh, I don't think we need to to break anything. All right, guys. So basically, from here, this part number twenty-four just goes over like that one there. So it basically sits like that. Then we've got part number 23, which holds all of this together. It's also got a slot that fits over there. So, and just make sure when you do 
install part number 23 that the holes line up according to that why you need to do that is we need to hold it in place so you actually need to put some of your cut off toothpicks inside the holes and this is quite a difficult feat as it is a very small space that we need to get it into I just want to crimp it a bit so that it's just an easier fit Almost got it there and then came out again. Oh my gosh. With the other one I didn't struggle so much, so just bear with me guys. I'm just gonna Full concentration mode, so uh, <coughs> this one seems to struggle way more than the first one actually did, and I don't know why. I really don't know why it doesn't want to go in there. I think it went in far enough, so I'm just going to remove the rest of it. actually need to take it out completely uh, so yeah that's the struggles sometimes it is quite hot here by us so excuse me just want to make sure that I get this in like I'm supposed to get to me Seems like this one just don't want to go in there at all. So let's attempt the other side. Maybe we'll have some better luck with the other side. It seems like we're gonna have and good luck for this side there we go so that one is in place I'm just cutting off all the rest of the crap that's left behind and then it's basically sitting like that then we just need to stick one through the center there so it just keeps everything in place that side so I'm just going to cut a small little piece here, just get it to a smaller size so it will fit easily into that hole. The struggle was real with that one. And then that just slides in there, that was quite hurtful. say if you never if you've never bled on a model you've never done model building oh 
I'll just cut that off a bit later and make it a bit, or make it look a bit better. So there we go. All right, guys. So for the other side, it's simple as well. We've got part number twenty-nine here, which is the smaller one of the two. I just want to get this one out of its pocket. Alright, so there we go, that one is out. Just clean this table a little bit. And uh, we need the other part 26, the small little wheel. And then we need part number 30, and that goes at the end. That keeps everything again into position. Okay, so I just want to remove that. Got a bit of scuff here that we just need to take to remove. Okay, so basically, there we've completed the front portion, and then we just do the same with the back portion where we stick part number 29 to our pocket that side go in all right so that's gone in there then this part we actually need to wax again with uh, our candle so I'm just gonna wax it here again off screen so I don't mess too much on the table. Okay, so that is wax there basically. Just line it up. And now uh, here comes the strength or some frustrating part. Because we basically need to take that, we need to stick it through with our finger. And then we also need to get it closed up. So I'm actually going to need another toothpick here just a piece so we can and I actually think I need to to do this in a different manner and leave the, the sharp point there so we can just stick it through quickly so that needs to basically just stick through the hole at the back the corresponding hole at the back goes through there from there on, we fit part number 30 over there, and then we just slot our toothpick into position again, just to close it up. And to keep it into position. And some of these rubber bands is not... But anyways guys, so... That is it for uh, this part of the board. I'm actually concerned about this because with the rubber bands that we've installed, it actually you can see there, it's actually pulling it out here in the bottom. If I try and push it back, I don't get it to fit nicely. So I hope there's a solution as the further we go into the bolt that uh, might solve this issue of the back part of the motor coming loose or the engine block maybe it will fit when it fits into the the main frame maybe uh, it will sort itself out sort itself out and uh, i do hope that it will sort it out so guys this is it for uh, this episode like i said i don't want to go too long with the with the episodes and uh tell me what you think about this model hit that uh, like button subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you very much for watching Cheers.